So continuation of the simplification of sorts. Now look at this root 72. How do we simplify it? Root 72. Two for two numbers. Now when you multiply it together, it will give you 72. That's our um, no, at the 6 times 2. It gives me 72. And another number of being times 9 times 8. It gives me 72. So, like I told you in the in the in the beginning aspect of simplification of so I said to reduce our stress, we can just use this one. It's very fast because two here cannot be broken anymore. Two is a sword, but although this one can be broken, but it's a perfect square. You know, but this is a perfect square. Now, that means when we simplify the 72 in solid, that would be 36 times 2. That means um just this is root 36 times root 2. And what's root 36? That is 6 times root 2. That is 6 root 2. 6 root 2. Now, if you now want to use this guy, 72 root 9 times 8. Root 9 times root 8. Root 9 is 3 times root 8. But this is not solved, don't forget. It, because it can be broken down. If you put your answer as 3 root 8, you miss it. Because why do I stop here? Because I know that root 2 cannot be broken down anymore. That's why I stop when I know that this is my answer. Now, but if you go and say 3 times root 8, 3 root 8 and you stop there, you miss it. Because 8 can be broken down. That will lead me to 3 times 4 times 2. 8 can be broken down to 4 times 2. Now, show that I'm going to have. 3 times, what's root 4? Root 4, you split this is root 4 times root 2. 3 times, what's root 4? That is 2 times root 2. And that is 3 times 2, 6 times root 2. Six root, that is 6 root 2. That's root 2. We got the same answer. So I have to stop because root 2 cannot be broken down anymore. So I believe by now we have gotten how to simplify. So, if you have gotten how to simplify sort, all this remaining things we are about to do is very cheap. So now we are going to talk about the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and parcelization of the sort.